Okay, I do have to admit that was a little bit of an experimental intro to the video, but intro aside, after all of that mining, I now have nine netherite ingots, which is enough to make a netherite block. And I don't really think that netherite armor and weapons is is really useful right now, especially since I don't have like a dedicated armor set or a dedicated tool set, especially after the thing that happened earlier that we won't talk about. I think I'm just going to craft this into a block and make myself an underground vault, which I think I'm going to put going off of here, off of this pole here. It, it, you can't really see the pole here. It looks more like a weird diagonal wall, but still there 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 is there is a a pillar here there we go yeah i think i'm going to have a staircase going down and into this vault thing oh yeah this this could definitely work because it's definitely going to be tall enough when it gets all the way around to where you can you can still be under it no problem so yeah i, th I think this is definitely a good design to go with of course we're gonna be building this down, so I should probably get to doing that. I should probably note now that I have no idea of what I'm actually going to build down there. Like most things in this world, I am just winging it completely. So pretty early in my time on YouTube, I started using a mouse and keyboard instead of just ha using a controller. And um, since I was used to using a controller, I would invert the mouse controls because that that's what I'm used to. The the left click being the place and the right click being the destroy. But recently I've decided that I should probably switch them back to normal. And so I've been trying to get used to that for a while. It, I'm not fully used to it yet. The whole incident from earlier was because of that confusion. So just for the record, it's not like I, it's not like that's a normal thing that, you know, I'm not... I'm not that dumb, okay? I'm not, I'm not completely stupid. I, I, I'm not hopeless is what I'm trying to say here. I do want the vault to be a little big, so I think maybe I'll, maybe I'll go down 20 blocks and then make the, the vault itself 15 blocks tall. How does that, how does that sound? So right now I'm at 69. Nice. So to go down 20 blocks, I would have to end up at 49 so here we go down to 49 dig 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 and 20 blocks down we are now here at the bottom so now i think i'm going to mine myself a door right here this is the same style door i'm putting down there so and then that and then here is going to be the room out here now i think i'm going to do a time lapse of me digging out this huge space and then i'm going to find out what i'm going to do with all of that room like i i, th I think i want to do like a vault door of some kind but i'm not sure how or because i do start out with an angle here so i'll figure that all that out and we'll, we'll see what i come up with So once we go all the way down here, it's gonna it's gonna take a while. Give me a second. But we're here now, and you'll notice if I press this lever, 
I actually lied to you, and that's not where the lever's supposed to go. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a little trickery, because, you know, you can't trust the people that are on this... Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, anyways, if you move this lever and place it down here, boom, you now have access to the vault. And I think it looks pretty nice. I don't think it I don't think it looks bad at all. I decided last minute that I was going to make a little gradient going up. So it'll be darker and then it'll go to a lighter top area. I was worried this was going to be a little jarring, the line between the two textures, but it's it's not that jarring at all. It might look good now, but it, it'll look even better once we fill it. Yep, here it is. All the diamonds that we have, which this it's like 17 blocks i think i remember and it doesn't it does not look very impressive at all actually uh we have quite a bit of lapis though which is kind of surprising uh i have a lot of redstone so i just kind of put the rest in a barrel called it good uh we have our iron gold and then our you know our, our massive netherite stash of course but yeah that's all of that now i'm going to uh i'm gonna go we're, we're gonna go back into the past into something i've recorded before before now and uh, to show you what my, what my banner is going to look like you might be wondering where i am right now and where i am is in my personal drawing board world it's where i go to go experiment with a bunch of builds or pretty much whatever i want to in in creative mode the reason why i'm here is because in the next update or i believe this is in the next update is that you can create banner designs and put them on your shields so to prepare for that i want to make myself a flag that can go on the castle and I'll also put that on my shield. Or in other words, I want to make myself a Jurassic flag. So I have myself a loom here and I have three banners that I think are going to be good. These two because it's the colors of giraffes and that's the theme of the castle and uh, light blue because that's the theme of my channel. So yeah, I'm going to experiment with these three and see what I come up with. Okay, I was just spamming random ideas and Th this isn't what I think I'm going to do, but this did this does give me an idea for what I might do So l let me let me do this a little bit more strategically now And see what I come up with. Okay, here is my actual idea the draft colors with a light blue slash across the side I think that is a possibility uh, Not that not that I'm gonna go with that, but it's an idea for now. Okay, these two are a bit uninspired, but uh, they're, they're, they're ideas well, actually, now that I think about it, I guess this is kind of also not very creative, but I don't know. I'll, I'll keep on it. Again, I don't think this is the one, but I think this does this does raise an idea with having a border the same color as the, the original. Yeah, this is a step backwards. Okay, but hear me out. I think that's pretty good. Okay, how about a little bit more clear of a version? Hmm. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to test this out at a distance. Okay. I think I've come to a conclusion here, and the conclusion is that I can't tell the stinking difference. You know what? There, there is one more test I can do. If the castle is designed with, with yellow and brown, having a lack of yellow and brown on the flag, would that make it better or worse? I think we should probably test that. Okay, I'm not even sure what I'm exactly going to do for the design, but let's say I do something like this, just to get the idea of those colors across. I don't think having blue as the as the primary color of the flag is really going to make it worse. I think just making, having a little bit of yellow and brown is going to make it better. And honestly, I, th I think I do like th the, the more full design more than the the, the less full design. See how like the ends are kind of fading? Where this one, it's more of a strong design. It's also possible that putting it on the shield is going to make the banner look completely different and all of this might work might be useless. But I'm just going to intentionally not think about that possibility and continue as usual. Okay, now back to your regularly scheduled world world. E. 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 F. P. V. V. M. E. E. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh. Yo. Okay, now I have to find out where to put these. Well, I guess for now, I'll put them here. But looking at the castle now, I'm realizing that it is very flat, undecorated, one colored. But that's gonna have to be in the next episode. So I'll see you around and uh, see you later. Bye.